news over coronavirus and the classroom. Some parents and students took the evening to protest over the Pima County Health Department's reluctance to reopen schools for hybrid in person learning. News for Tucson's Nell Confair joining us live from downtown with the latest this evening, Danelle. Yes, Angelique, parents and students voicing their frustrations. They want to see students back in the classroom. And while the protest started out peaceful, it ended pretty tense when they were met with one counter protester. Take a look. <laughs> Leading up to this, this woman and protesters going back and forth on a heated debate on whether or not students should head back to the classroom. Tucson police even responding to the incident. Just a show of how passionate both sides of this argument can get. We caught up with this counter protester after the incident who wouldn't tell us her name. I'm here against them. Schools should not be open. Like, hello? Protesters here disagree. You know, we've been reasonable as parents to, um, you know, wait and reach the metrics that they have placed before us. And every time we do, it keeps changing. Just last week, the Arizona Department of Health Services announced that Pima County met benchmarks that allow schools to return to a hybrid form of education. But Pima County health officials advised it's not yet safe to reopen, saying schools should wait until October. Where I live in Oro Valley, all the charter schools are open, all the private schools are open. Um, and I believe that our school could be open just like they're open. We reached out to Pima County's chief medical officer, Dr. Francisco Garcia, on these parents' concerns. We were provided with the following statement that reads in part, the ability to open public and charter schools is entirely the domain of the individual school boards and the executive branch of state government. We've got you covered from downtown. Janelle Confair, News 4 Tucson.